और कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे फूफे की गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जेलमेन टूडे वी गॉट ब्रांड न्यू लीग टू टॉक अबाउट वी आर हेयर अबाउट जी टी एस एक्स ऑनलाइन We're also hearing about the release date, and we got a bunch of other stuff that I want to show you. And I also do want to talk about this video as well. Stick around for this one. We're getting their investor call on February the eighth. I will shortly live stream, and we're hearing that GTA Six is expected to launch between January and March of 2025. And this is based on the Take Two's forecast, where they anticipate that they're going to be making like eight billion dollars in revenue. God damn! For 2025, fiscal year 2025, which is going to end on March 31st. 2025. This can only be achieved through the launch of GTA 6. Now, real quick, man, I gotta be honest, bro. This can also be achieved through GTA Plus. Uh, I, I, I know, man. It sounds kind of bad, but it'll be like that, guys. I got a video that I wanna show you. Rockstar says this: GTA 6 coming 2025. Me on January 1st, 2025, 1201 a.m. Eastern. Where is GTA 6? Bruh. And apparently, the Florida Joker, the Florida Joker, oh, shit. Oh, shit. also came out. Roll it. Threatening to sue Rockstar for the past couple of months, yeah. Lawrence Sullivan is now offering to voice the character he claims is based on his infamous 2017 mugshot. The initial GTA 6 trailer was filled with outlandish characters and wild antics, and one of the most notable moments is a brief shot of a tattooed criminal Wait being taken it. to court. This criminal was quickly compared to Sullivan, who wasted little time accusing Rockstar of stealing <laughs> his likeness and Man, threatening to take legal action against the developer. Had it been that he had this attitude right from the get-go he might have but he threatened rockstar he said that he's gonna take a chinese bamboo and shove it right up rockstar's bum hole as Bruh. well uh he did not really say that actually but that's kind of like what he alluded to the There's past no few months now. lawrence has been posting videos demanding money from rockstar and offering yeah. up supposed proof that the gta 6 character in question is based on him even going as far as to dye his hair purple to match the scene <laughs> from the trailer in late yeah. december sullivan announced that he was discussing the issue with his lawyers and demanded that Rockstar pay him $5 million to Damn. avoid any potential lawsuits. A few weeks later, he would raise this amount to $10 million and here I cannot even afford a bicycle out here, you know, and the guy's like, okay, well, give me five million, give me ten million dollars after claiming that he was being harassed by fans. But now he seems to be shifting gears in his demands as he recently posted yet another video addressing the GTA 6 situation on TikTok Bruh. earlier this week. This time, Sullivan claims he has no desire to actually sue Rockstar or parent company Take Two and is willing to accept a job voicing the trailer's what? character as compensation for stealing his likeness. Sullivan what? is also asking for an extension extended storyline in the game for said character, and claims that his content has helped promote GTA 6 over the past few months. Finally, he gave Rockstar a month to respond to his latest demands. His claims of having his likeness stolen in the trailer have been met with a healthy amount of skepticism, especially since the character in question isn't an exact match to him, and Rockstar yeah. has been known to- This is absolutely wild because obviously they took that uh, from him in a way and they made it like into a fictional character with purple hair. And later on, he turns around and he dyes his hair purple. Bumbocat! And initially, it wasn't like this, but he's like, GTA, GTA, what's up? Coming at you with GTA. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. <laughs> Yo, had it been my guy, you just asked them, hey man, let me voice the character. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Papa Bliss, thank you all for adding me. Uh, and, and, and they might have, they might have, but... Now it's parody sure. famous and infamous public figures in its works. One of the most often compared cases is Lindsay Lohan's own lawsuit she against lost Rockstar right? over the GTA 5 character Lacey Jonas, which was eventually dropped in 2018. Sullivan has repeatedly mentioned this in his own legal threats, claiming that he has a stronger case for his likeness being used in GTA 6. Mm. The status of GTA Online once GTA 6 comes out may have already been foreshadowed by past information. With the series still firmly positioned as Rockstar's flagship franchise, it's expected to put maximum effort into the rollout of the next game. At the same time, that raises questions about the current GTA Online and how much life the I, I just hope that the effort, the maximum effort that he's talking about, I hope the maximum effort isn't put into making shark cards on the GTA Plus. Though, because I have, a, I have a suspicion, I have a suspicion that they're going to be putting maximum effort into doubling the size of the Megalodon shark card, making it like, instead of being like 8 million, they're going to make it 16 million. And instead of charging like, like a, like a Benjamin, like a hundred US dollars, they're probably gonna charge 
<laughs> Everybody like $200 or something like that. Bro. Game could have left. With a new game coming along, Rockstar's priorities will certainly have to shift. As a result, that to. can leave us wondering what to, will bro. happen to the game. When the first GTA 6 trailer premiered, no one could be blamed for being excited. The game had been the subject of rumors for years, and it had already been a remarkably long- uh, wrong! Long it has been subject of rumors for a decade plus, son. Time since the last installment. Nothing came out regarding future plans for GTA Online, though. No news regarding the current game, or if GTA 6... Yo, to be honest, that's actually true, right? Because there isn't, like, any big news about GTA 6 Online. Yeah, we heard rumors a long time ago, and it has been, like, two, three years as, as we speak. We first heard that... And this is like a couple of months old. We heard that it's gonna have 32 players, right? Yeah, I know. So that's what we heard. And then, like three years ago at this point, we heard this from Tom Henderson that this game is gonna have one male, one female. And we all know Lucia Bruna got leaked out. And they also confirmed that Lucia Bruna is also that's actually real. Lucia is real. One male, one female. That's true. And alongside this, Tom Henderson also did say that it's gonna be a smaller game at launch compared to other Rockstar projects. It's still gonna be massive though. Don't get me wrong. It's still gonna be a massive game, but it's gonna be a bit smaller. And later down the road, they're also gonna update it a lot more. And we know they're gonna because look at gta online right that game gets updated every single month or, uh, and right now like every six months kind of ish give or take but but you know what i mean right and he also did say that apparently they're gonna be adding like more maps new locations new islands and they're gonna turn it into like fortnite kind of but but not like cartoonish it's still gonna be gta 6 but they're gonna be updating it like it was fortnite meaning that they're gonna be updating the game a lot more and i really like this idea though that they're gonna be adding more locations because if you really think about it gta online had good updates they had a good run i mean they milked it dry let's be real right but they had a good run and they added a lot of content but i feel like that this time they really need to expand their buttholes and they really gotta expand the content that they give us and i think nothing will be better than having new areas new islands new maps later on in the future as we we play this game because i don't think we're getting gta 7 uh, uh, before we're 80 years old guys replace it with a new version at least for the time being the exact plans remain a mystery according to recent leaks rockstar canceled bully 2 as well as several single player dlc yeah. expansions for gta 5 that some people think the that code, these yeah. projects were canceled so that gta online could get sufficient support granted one could assume that this is because gta online is already out and has an active player base even so red dead online saw an end to its support despite having active players even though fewer than gta online this proves that at least at the time gta online was still enough of a priority for rockstar not to pull support in favor of gta that's crazy right because we did hear this from the gta 5 source code leaks that we were supposed to get eight dlcs eight dlcs for gta 5 <laughs> And they canceled, they canceled all of it because of GTA Online success. And I believe like the Franklin DLC was supposed to be like a real story DLC. Michael DLC was supposed to happen as well. Uh, and they canceled all of it, but they added like Franklin DLC in online. And it's not like the same, same. H had it been, it was for, uh, si for single player, it would have been completely different though. But yeah, GTA 6's It'll development. Like that, Another detail to take into account is that GTA 6's open world is possibly going to be even bigger than that of GTA 5. While the incredibly so. long I gap so. between games could be seen as a reason to believe that a new GTA Online could be in the works, to replace the original, there's nothing concrete to back the idea. Rockstar doesn't have much of a reason to replace the already thriving GTA Online, so leaving it in place seems ideal. Even looking at the game's current state offers a hint. Rock do, do you guys want to see like the GTA Online? status like for example if you're like level 120 or 999 in uh, I, I believe that's the max rank do you guys want to see the ranks transfer over to gta 6 online because quite frankly i want a fresh game i, I i've been reading a lot of comments some people definitely want to see older content return in gta 6 online and i'm sitting here i'm like dog like i want a new game man it's a new game therefore i want new online too bro star has continued to support the game even while gta 6 has been in the works and even with the new game finally on the horizon gta online received yet another update continued work on the game gives little indication that it will be dropped once gta 6 comes out it is simply yeah. too popular and 
and makes too much money to be abandoned so easily, and it's hard to see Rockstar doing so even with GTA 6 coming out. Recently, the official X profile of Hyundai Motorsport shared a recreation of the upcoming GTA trailer, which is something that none of us expected to happen. They Bro. used actual cars Bro. and drone shots to recreate some of the most iconic scenes. I always thought big brands like Hyundai would stick to their traditional marketing and public relations. Man, GTA 6 is way too big, bro. I mean, god damn strategies, focusing on their core products it and services. Good. I it mean, it's good. GTA 6 we're talking about. It's a massive deal in the gaming world, <laughs> yeah. and seeing a major automotive company like Hyundai diving into this realm is kind of damn. Okay, so what did they do for like the strip? Oh shit! Massive deal in the game. Okay, so yeah, this is where Lucia was like strong, independent, mm -mm, need no man, and they put like a bumble cloud homie right there. Gaming world, and seeing a major automotive company like Hyundai. Okay, so this is uh, where you see a lot of the sisters. Okay, so what, what did they do? Let's they see. diving. Okay, so they got a lot of sisters out here. Okay. Into All this right, realm is kind of mind blowing. It breaks the stereotype of what big corporations are willing to do in terms of marketing. We recently ended up getting brand new leaks for GTA 6. We had this video. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Check this out. It's a massive leak video, boys.